because you do need to know I am a child of God. Because so many times we have people who stand before us and we don't know anything about them. So I'm honored and privileged to stand here before you. And I have two jewels here that I want to introduce to you. Please, would you stand up? <laughs> we were in Vallejo yesterday speaking at Springstown, and so um, as I was putting the notes together, I realized that my girls. Hmm. All right. Take your time. Fresh 
precious jewels. Dictionary.com is one of my favorite websites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Polishing to improve, refine, shine, bright, buff, or smooth. God, the one supreme being, the creator, the ruler of the universe, he is the one who makes the rules. So when it comes to who you are and the jewel that you'll become, guess who has the final set? Mm. Yeah. That's right. All right. Precious, of high price or great value, very valuable or costly. Well, y'all remember that. You're very valuable yeah. and costly. Yeah. Jewels. Now many of you are thinking of making these cut and polished little pieces that we have or things that we wear around our neck. But I'd like to offer you another definition for a jewel today. And this actually came from the dictionary. A jewel is a person or a thing that is treasured, esteemed, and indispensable. So if you take a little bit from each one of those, here's what you get. You're God's jewel. Your shine is improved. Your shine is refined. Your shine is bright. The supreme being created you that way. My baby wears a nine and a half shoe and she's 12 years old. God created her that way. Okay? The supreme being created her. Her value is great. We are valuable and costly. And we are indispensable. So what that means is that your place on this earth is absolutely necessary and essential. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I want you to look to your sister to the left or to the right and say, God's making his jewels and I'm one of them. I'm one of them. jewels coming from heaven. It speaks of other jewels as well. So they're so precious and so expensive that no amount of money can purchase them. Because they're spiritual in nature. And the more precious and the more costly they are, the more value they have. The theme scriptures for today were Proverbs 20 and 15 and 1 Peter 1 and 7. But I'd like to walk over to the book of Malachi and share what the prophet Malachi wrote. He said, Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, mm -hmm. and the Lord listened and heard them. So the book of remembrance was written before them for those who fear the Lord and meditate on his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of the hosts. On this day, I make them my jewels. Yeah. That comes from Malachi 3, 16 and 17. So I'm just crazy enough to believe that today, in all of our classes and in all of what we've been through today, that the Lord is seeking, the master jeweler is seeking to make jewels. You and I are those jewels. Now if we check that passage of scripture, I'm a, I'm, I'm a person who likes to study and compare things and contrast things. And what I did was I went and I looked at the scriptures that were given to me. And I looked at them in several different passages. And so, when I checked the passage, I realized that the translators couldn't really understand what God was doing. Mm -hmm. If you look at these, this, those scriptures, they all have a different meaning and a different commentary. Now, we all know the commentary is someone's opinion. Right. But the thing about it is they couldn't pinpoint what God was saying. So from reading the different versions, we discovered that God, in that passage of Malachi, he's speaking about making jewels. And so we usually don't think of ourselves as jewels. You know, we think of ourselves in terms of size, color, shape, you know, all the things that they say make up a woman. But here, God calls us jewels in the making. And it might be surprising to find that the great God is making jewels. But that's what we are. Now I want to skip on over to the natural and talk about where the precious jewels come from. Africa. Yeah. I'm talking about these kind of jewels. Man, the natural jewels. So Africa produces 97 of 100 carats of diamonds in the whole entire 
world. Mm -hmm. Africa is called the dark continent. Egypt, which the scriptures often refer to as in the world as sin, but Africa is still the place where the most priceless gems are found. Right. Mm. To your left, right. look to your right, right. say my, 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 my. Look at that, the most precious gems. The 139 song, in the 139 song, David is speaking prophetically to the church, more specifically about the Lord's jewels. Verses 14 through 16, he says, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and my soul knoweth right well. So what that means is that you and I, we have incredible potential. Yes, yes. We can be shining jewels. We can let our bling shine for all the world to see, because we're all capable. But do we? How many times have you covered up your hair because your hair wasn't done? Mm -hmm. How many times have you put on the big baggy shirt because you had a little roll right there? <laughs> God is not concerned about that. He wants you to take that roll and do something with it. Mm -hmm. Roll on. <laughs> church because it said greater Bethany apostolic and I didn't understand that 
So I wouldn't go in there. But God, yeah. I was sitting in the nail shop, ran into a sister who said, come and go to a singles event with me. That changed my life because the singles event was at that church that I was scared of. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's where I learned about the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that um, the late Reverend Lee didn't do that for me. When I was here, I was a child. When I got to Los Angeles, I was 18. So I was just transitioning. I had to learn God for myself. Those of you who are true lovers, you guys have met my grandmother. My grandmother will be 100 years old in a few days. But I had to not know Granny's God. Some of you know my mother, Celeste. I didn't need to know Celeste's God. I needed to know God for me.
but I was on this side of worship. God said, I want you to get on that side of worship. Because if you can praise me over here, I will work it out over there. And the song that I listened to was by the Sean Pace called In This Place. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Anybody heard? Oh yeah. yeah. I listened to that song every single day for an entire year mm. in this place. And he talked about in this place where no one else is around, that's where you'll find me. Yeah. In this place. When you don't know what to do, that's when I'll be there. And sometimes we got to get to that in this place. Because if we never get there, that's that grinding. And that's that polishing that God needs us to go to. We have to get to that place. Because if we don't, we will die. I'm not talking about a physical death. I'm talking about a spiritual death. If we don't get to that place, what are we living for? I had told my girls, this my little baby, she's a girly girl. And she likes all the blame you funny stuff and she wanted me to wear something shiny. So this was for her. <laughs> okay? So sometimes you have to know who you are. My husband and I have known each other since we were eight. And I've known Felicia probably since I was about 13. My husband and I found a tape of 1985 where we were on the Face Children's Choir and she was playing the piano. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who I was. I knew how to mimic what I saw other people do. Come on, that's good. But I didn't know that lifting my hands is a sign of surrender. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that I saw other people do so good. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I didn't know to extend my hands to say, God, you, you got this too. Uh -huh. Right. I didn't know that there's power mm -hmm. in everything that God gives to mm -hmm. us, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. We are his jewels. Yes, yes. But we have to know who we are. Yes. So now I can wear my church gear. Because that's who I am. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you remember, I sang my first solo when I was three. And it went like this. Let God 
so shine that all God gets is glory. When we make it clear and plain that whatever goodness and righteousness there is in us, whatever fruits are produced, is all from Christ because he is the root. We come in variety. Precious stones are considerable, both in size and color. Oh, God, no matter if you're two or four or sixteen or twelve, we all come in variety. Now, there are some differences, though. The diamond is clear, 